ang bayan ng Diyos ay iniligtas niya muna sa Egypto, papunta sa lupang pangako. Kaya pala mga friends, kaya pala tayo kailangan pamili ng araw ng sana. Dahil una, tayo ay nilikha ng ating Panginoon. At pangalawa, tayo ay iniligtas simula sa kasalanan, papunta doon sa buhay na walang hanggan. Kaya mga kaibigan, Minsan tayong nilikha ng Diyos at ngayon ay iniligtas tayo ng Diyos. Kaya tayo ay mamimili ng araw ng sabi. In 1 Kings chapter 17 verses 15 and 16 it says, So there was food every day for Elijah and for the woman and her family. For the jar of flour was not used up and the jug of oil did not run dry. In keeping the word of the Lord spoken by Elijah. Friends, God taking something little and making it into something big is not new in the Bible. You see it in the landscape from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Whenever we trust what we have to God, He takes it, He multiplies it, and then He returns it. The widow in the time of Elijah gave her last of life flour and oil that was meant for her and his son. You see, it takes away to do that, but she did it anyway, and her faith was richly blessed in the abundance. What she got in return was more than what she gave. The same thing happened with that little boy who shared his loaves of bread and fish with Jesus. When Jesus asked for his love, he took Jesus multiplied it and returned it not only to bless the boy, but the thousands who were there that day. Friends, that is the kind of God we serve. He only asked for our faith in entrusting what even we have in his care. Brothers and sisters, don't be scared of God. Have faith and give it to Jesus. Invest in Jesus and see the rich return of your investment. For you see, little becomes much. Whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. I mean, it's not even the way we are at. Given how wicked and evil we are, God will choose to love us. Did you know that there is one fire that cannot be extinguished nor quenched? There are many places in the Bible where you can read about unquenchable fire. One of them is in Matthew 25, when, where Jesus is speaking about how will it be when He returns, separating the righteous on His right hand and the wicked on His left hand.